My, 30F, boyfriend, 28M, wants to move in but not pay bills. I have been living on my own since 18. My boyfriend has always lived with his parents, they have a large home and it's culturally normal for him, they are immigrants. We have been together for a little over a year and in the last six months or so he has been spending more and more time at my place. The other day I talked to him about potentially moving in together next year, in a few months. I was surprised by his reaction. One of the things I wanted to iron out was finances, because he is never volunteering to pick up groceries even though he eats my food and drinks my drinks. He basically said that he doesn't think that he should have to contribute to anything that I currently pay for myself. Since I pay my whole rent myself, he doesn't feel he should subsidize that. And internet too. He said with things like electricity, since it would cost more having him there, he would pay the difference, but we would have to calculate that amount each month, and he wasn't sure exactly how to do that. Is this normal for a relationship? I feel that we should just be splitting all expenses in half and I don't understand why he is expecting a free ride. He acted like this was a completely normal thing though so I am wondering if I am in the wrong. If I'm right and we should just split living expenses in half then how do I explain that to him without being rude? And hash x200b. Too long did not read. Boyfriend wants to move in together but not pay for anything, almost. You are lucky. Most people who plan to bleed you dry don't make it so obvious in advance. Has he also told you he doesn't intend on doing any chores? Since he's used to having a free ride at mom and dad's and allegedly doesn't understand why that's not what he is entitled to from you, you should probably also have this discussion now. Don't let him move in. You will regret it. Explain to him that the electricity and other utilities are the same as Wi-Fi and groceries. It's expendable stuff that would cost more to have him around for. And that he should look into the cost of groceries and Wi-Fi and all that. And if it's something he's not ready for respect that decision. Some people aren't ready to move from home unless it's into something better. Or unless it's the right move for them. If he's not paying rent or any of that it wouldn't necessarily make sense for him to start paying for any of those things. However if he's eating your food he can either offer to replace some stuff for you. Or think about you when he's at the store or maybe even just take you out to dinner. He should have started offering to pay for food, at the very least, when he started sleeping over. Don't let that bum move in. This is not normal behavior, in a relationship everything is expected to be 50-50. You're not in the wrong. You and him have different expectations of what's going on, so it's best to open up a channel for dialogue as soon as possible. Yeah, this is the reddest of flags. How stupid is he? He want to lie from you a money and yet he tells you. Well since he told you he is not going to pay for shit. Normal people spread their expenses or at minimum split in half their bills. Saying I will only pay the extra on your usual spending and pay no rent and food is like saying I am gonna leech from you until you realize it. Location flag location flag location flag. Do not move in with this person. Why the hell would you think a 28 year old man, whose parents clearly still wipe his ass for him, would somehow know more than you about cohabitating? Just dump that assumption directly in the garbage. He doesn't know more than you. He doesn't know anything. You are in the position of telling him where the bears shit in the woods, which is, hell no, you can't move in, Travis. Moving in with ME means paying your way and contributing to the household. With this kind of leeches, make sure he prepays monthly. I'm pretty confident he will do his best to avoid paying what he owes. Damn I really want to drink champagne but can only afford beer too. Can you float the bill for both of us? S. How's his credit? Could he finance cheese on a burger? If it really came down to it, could he afford his mother's love? Run yo. That's a bad sign. He wants a new mother it sounds like. Are you going to adopt him, or wise up and dump his ass? Unless he's gonna be the housewife he should contribute. How come then, with that logic, is he not paying for the food and drink he consumes at your house when he's there? He's immature. Don't open that door because when you finally decide to kick him out he might come after you for alimony. Sounds crazy but look up common law partnerships, and definitely do not get pregnant or you will be connected to him for the rest of your life. This to me is a huge red flag. He plans to mooch off you. If he is moving into the apartment with you then cost for food, rent, and utilities should be divided among you too. Don't let him move in with you, it's only going to cause problems for you. Are you thinking to have a long-term relationship with this guy? If a guy isn't even ready to split the bills do you think he will look after if you are broke? It's just wast of time. Do not move in with this guy. He is a sponge. Move on while you still can.
You don't need to wait until you feel tired in a year or two and then having to deal with kicking him out and all of that bees. No is a complete sentence. No, is not normal, immigrant or not, and I'm an immigrant myself folks know that when you move with someone, romantic relationship or not, you share home and food related expenses. He can stay with his family. No this is not normal and sounds very exploitative. Living together as a couple means taking responsibility for yourself and the other person in a lot of ways but also financially. And seriously it's meant to split the burden, not add to it by meticulously calculating the internet cost, which I assume he has used in the previous months too and would use that as a baseline. This dude is trying to get free housing out of you, because that's what it would be. Don't fall for it. He sounds like he's very used to being catered to in a home which is something I would seriously consider and discuss before you move together so you know if there would be any other expectations you might not be on board with. Apart from the finances. Not normal. You want to date an adult and have a partner, not adopt a child. Please dump him. This point will become serious in the future. He is not realizing the gravity of the situation. He is taking it very normal or really doesn't understand these things. Don't be angry or irritated when talking about it but just wait for him to realize this is much time it takes. Ask for advice from matured friends who have done this and especially when it syncs with your understanding. Also make him understand that he has to do the chores. Maybe show him a template where chores are divided between family and ask which ones he will do, without making the conversation serious. The only one who'd be doing any subsidizing would be you. Don't let that entitled baby boy move in. Not the asshole. We would have to calculate that amount each month, and he wasn't sure exactly how to do that. 1. He's 28 and doesn't know how to calculate expenses. 2. He's 28 and thinks you're his mom and dad. Nope. Also, you can do better. Dot. We believe in you. Please keep us updated. Don't explain anything, just say we are breaking up. What does he even have to offer? He's just gonna squat, basically. I mean if he at least plans to take the house chores and cooking off your shoulders, including expenses regarding those activities, I would say it's okay, but it doesn't seem like this is the case. It just seems fair for him to contribute with something given that he will ultimately be compromising your space. Because he is never volunteering to pick up groceries even though he eats my food and drinks my drinks. That, and his words, is all you need to know about living with this guy. You're going to get used. Lol no. Your living arrangement requires you to pay for rent and utilities. So if he wants to join in on the same living arrangement, he ought to do what you're doing and pay rent and utilities equally because that's what's fair and that's what responsible adults do. I personally would be running for the hills because what world does he live in if he thinks his partner is to offer him free housing, food and occasional romance lol. I'm exhausted just thinking about such a life. You deserve better. TLC had the right idea. No scrubs, please. Your partner is taking the absolute piss out of you. Fracking hell, when moving together, woman moves into male's flat and he picks all the bills. It isn't normal that male moves into woman's flat and pays nothing. He isn't a child anymore, but he sure acts like one. Oh, hell, no. If he wants a mommy, he can stay at home. This is not normal. This is insanity. I'd dump him in general for this. If he moves in, you are in for a world of misery and will break up with him anyway just to get this 30-year-old leech out of your place. Do not let him move in. Do not. No. No. That's not normal. Unless he had a specific reason, such as a huge income discrepancy, or a situation where it is a mortgage and you'd be earning equity, he should have had a proposed way to help. My husband bought a house in 2015 when we were dating but serious, and I stayed there regularly and moved in officially during spring 2016. My name wasn't on the deed or the title because I wasn't involved in its purchase. I helped pick out the house and I helped put together the offer, but since we weren't married and I wasn't working full time, I didn't think it was right to be added on. So instead of paying rent, I paid for all the groceries and part of the utilities. Obviously, not normal. Don't have him move in with you. Then, start charging his ass for all of the extra food he eats. Or, only make meals for yourself and if he wants any, you can ask him to drop off ingredients from the market for his share of the food. This relationship isn't going nowhere so burn it down but your way and own it. If you don't have your self-respect, you don't have your health, then you've got nothing. Wow. Do not let him move in. This is not normal in a relationship. He should stay where he is. You deserve better than this guy. Don't let him move in. It will stress you out in the long run. He's already using up all your resources and not offering to help any. 
When he does move in it will only get worse and you'll end up in a lot of financial debt. If anything he doesn't sound like an equal partner or like he's even ready for that level of a serious and mature relationship. I would cut him loose and look for someone more on your level. Shared household equals shared expenses. Boyfriend is acting like a spoiled brat out of touch with reality. You're completely in the right here. Sounds like he has never had to do much of anything for himself. He's 28 he's not going to change and suddenly start taking care of his own shit if he moves in with you. It's up to you whether you want to continue a relationship where your partner being an adult is always going to be a struggle even if he does ever accept that he should. Which I doubt. So you don't explain it. Because if you have to explain to a 28 year old that he should be responsible for himself, then you will always have to struggle to enforce that. In 5, 10 years, especially if you want kids, because he is not going to be handling any childcare, that's for sure. This whole man baby routine is going to be real old. Break up with this leech. He wants to move in, he needs to contribute. The only people who should live rent free are children, it's your house, so decide what he needs to pay, and if he won't tell him, you're no longer willing to live with him. Op. It's not normal, but let me tell you. I don't live with my boyfriend but I help contribute to groceries, electricity, and internet. I eat his food and he cooks for the both of us when I'm over frequently, so it is only fair that I help contribute to bills. I think it is definitely best to sort out finances before moving in because it'll just get worse after moving in together. Sad face. Not only is he unreasonable, and frankly you shouldn't worry about being rude to him. But him even having this idea, let alone expressing, it is a huge red flag. What kind of human being think this is okay? Answer, no one worth your time. Break up with him. He's entitled and self-centered and cheap. Not qualities you want in a life partner. You are not in the wrong. Your boyfriend is trying to take advantage of you and play you for a fool. Either he pays his half, or he's not moving in. You should be splitting costs but not in half. That's what roommates do. It should be based on income. Is he even working? Not normal. Either he acts like a normal adult, pays half of expenses or equal percentage of the income, depending of your agreement ORB stays at Mama Hotel. I would also have discussion about the chores, doesn't sound like he would be voluntary doing them. Your boyfriend is a freeloader. How can you even call him your partner? No no no. Not normal. I hope you read these comments and absorb the good advice on here. Best of luck. He thinks that what is fair is for you to be no worse off than you were before. While not making someone worse off than before is a reasonable thing to want, it does reveal that he is not looking to make you any better off either. The way you phrased it, he is explicitly trying to avoid you benefiting, e.g., subsidize. He's doing the absolute minimum he can rationalize is fair. Do you want a boyfriend who is trying to do the absolute minimum he can get away with? Nope. Just. Nope. It's a partnership or nothing. Save yourself future headaches, resentment, and anger. Don't do it until he can understand what adult cohabitation means. Hint, there's responsibilities involved, and will pay his share of the bills and do his part of the chores. I wish someone told me this when I was in your place.